Hey, 420 MSP, I am with one of the logos. Welcome to the ecosystem, Koshi at Stimless. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Boy, I sure appreciate you uh, reaching out after uh, I published one of my columns in Marijuana Venture Magazine uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, you had some good feedback. Number two, you, you read the piece. <laughs> and that's always a little bit of a mystery, right? Like you're that AM radio announcer in Tacoma, Washington, and you wonder, is, is anybody even listening out there in the, the radio land? <laughs> so I thank you. That, that, that gets me excited. That gets me up in the morning. What, I'm looking off to the left. What is Stemless? What is your story? Sure, yeah. So Stemless is a marketing tool um, that dispensaries use to increase their revenue. Um, basically, what we do is we look at a dispensary's data, and through that, we can uncover their guest behaviors, their actions, and their most likely outcomes. So our platform reveals the store's most valuable guests um, we entice new users to become repeat users, and we entice repeat users to become loyal fans. So it sounds like a combination of uh, analytics um, at some level, and then, but also uh, a marketing motion, offers, incentives, loyalty, and I'm just doing some word soup. Is it, it's, it's kind of a couple things. Absolutely. So we help dispensaries execute on their um, promotional objectives but then we give them meaningful data on what those objective or what those executions actually led to in terms of what they care about most, right? Which is sales. And so, you know, if they, if they send out a text message, um, who of those recipients actually came into the store? What did they spend? What did they buy? Um, how often do they tend to buy? When did they last buy from you? These are the types of things that we care about. Um, and then on top of that, we also help them identify who should receive what type of marketing messages, right? I mean, you know, if you have someone that is solely buying concentrates, um, e your marketing dollars may not be well spent sending them, you know, a general blast about your sale on flowers. They might not care. And so yeah. we help identify the people that are most likely to respond to their marketing messages so that you know, they, they conserve their marketing dollars to be as efficient as possible. And then they actually see some great returns on those, on the, on that spend as well. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I like it. A uh, dispensary that I used to uh, go to uh, in the Seattle area, Kitsap County. Um, and I used a back email uh, to sign up for their newsletter and their promotions. And, and there's, there's a story behind that because I'm not comfortable revealing my identity in this realm, right? I, I do have some privacy needs and, and with all due respect or, it, you know, that's, that's a, a boundary for me. But to get to the point, they send out a generic Friday email out of constant contact. It's typically about the deal of the, the day or the deal of the weekend, Super Bowl weekend or March Madness. Um, that's good. I mean, they're doing it and they're doing it consistently, but Koshi, it's not meeting my needs, right? They're, they're not talking specifically to me and, and what I want to buy and hear and that kind of thing. Does that make sense? Sounds like you, you take it to another level. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So we, you know, we, we definitely have stores that are our clients that like to do that. We like to encourage our clients to um, focus more on giving people the messaging that they want. So I think, you know, everyone wants a good sale, right? Everyone likes to deal on the things um, that they're buying. But what's important is that those sales need to speak to what you actually want to buy. And so yeah. I think that's where Stemless really fills in that gap is we help stores identify who wants what deals, um, send them to just those people. And, you know, obviously all of this is very automated just based on what's happening in their POS. Um, so it's not like stores are actually like, you know, finding these random people and, and putting them together. We do all that um, on the back end. And then all they need to do is send out these campaigns. Yeah, cool. Well, I think I, I think I got it. So we'll check back next quarter. Um, and, and again, welcome to the world of uh, Canatech logos. And uh, we'll check in quarterly with you and see what's news. A um, lot of change going on in the industry all of a sudden. It's, it's, it's speeding up. <laughs> It is. It is. Can't wait for federal legalization. There we go. Hey, maybe next quarter when we talk, it'll happen. All right. Take care. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us.